This is Dabu7. A heads up here in regards to a brand new ransomware that some say could be more dangerous than anything else that we've seen thus far. Now, in the midst of all this, we have a technology platform called iConstituent. And this is used by U.S. government offices to connect to different places. Now, apparently, they have been affected by a ransomware attack here for a while, and no one has been saying anything. This affects the government offices of Illinois, Hawaii, Kentucky, and Georgia. It even involves the cities of Los Angeles and East Palo Alto, including the New York State Assembly. So this is widespread in terms of that. But when it comes to this jackware, this jackware, they say, is different because what it does is it embeds itself and instead of attacking, say, Windows itself, it will go in and try to attack the actual physical device in the machines that make modern life possible. That's why they say it's much more dangerous. It's only a matter of time where something like this can happen. Now, malware is generally something that is only affecting computers. But they're saying that over the last 20 years, there's been a boom in the development of tiny computers that add connectivity and smart features to every type of machine and device that you can imagine. Now, these tiny computers are known as embedded devices. They now play a critical role in things like critical infrastructure, cars, mass transit, healthcare, office buildings, and even the home. And just like a desktop computer, embedded devices are also vulnerable to malware. The difference here between hacking a computer and hacking an embedded device is that the latter has a direct physical consequence. And one of the reasons why this jackware is so dangerous is that it can shut down the embedded devices. This cripples the larger physical machine, the computer, the pop machine, whatever it may be. So that means the cyber attacks could lead to even worse disruptions than what we've seen thus far in terms of the gas, the meat, and have a funny feeling in due time, it's going to be the lights. I keep saying it over and over. Do you have a plan for when the lights go out? Make sure to join me on DLive, where I'm going live, breaking stories like this down further. Going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. You'll find links below in the description.